Cool, we're live. Alrighty, guys, what's going on? It's your boy Jackson e. Fitness right here, and I'm here to give you guys a quick video on how you should go about getting more clients, building your business as a personal trainer in person and online. All right. So the blueprint I have so far is your first steps should be getting yourself in shape. All right. If you're not already doing that, you should go ahead and start. For one, um, if that's just by you know watching people online, um, hiring a personal trainer. Uh, going to fitness classes just learning the habits of living a lifestyle because this is a lifestyle it's not just a up and go thing because once you're over 25 them calories and them them, uh, them pounds they, they add up they add up they say it's like after the age of 25 the average US person gains five pounds a year and that's without any exercise and that's living a sedentary lifestyle all right so first step is getting yourself in some type of shape you don't have to be a bodybuilder you don't have to be you know an elite uh, endurance athlete you don't got to be anything special you just got to maintain a habit because what you're teaching is what people are gonna look at you for so if they see you do something that's out of character like not in shape or whatever they're gonna want to do the same thing also it's gonna give them a reason to actually um, not stay in shape okay so getting yourself in shape second while you're doing this you should be thinking business-minded right and what I say business-minded is you need to be keeping aware of things like getting contacts from people not like begging people for their info but I mean talking to people as you're telling them your story and why you're in the gym and why you're in shape and why you want to do this and why you want to pursue this. It doesn't always have to be like, hey, I need your email, I need your social media plug, I need this so you can do this and be so anxious. That's that's living not in an abundant mindset, okay? That's living in a scarcity mindset. And when you need something, usually you don't attract it because you're so anxious to get it. So you need to learn to not move out of fear. For one, personal training itself and coaching is it's not easy to get into it's not easy to get all these clients it's not easy to have people come up to you and ask you to pay you for advice you know it's something that you got to just have a little bit of patience on so getting their contact is something that you can do and how you can go about doing this is is going to people here's an example you know you're working out in the gym and you know you just see somebody working out and they may do something that you don't think is correct you don't go up to them and be like, hey, that's wrong. You need to do this because I read this. You need to just go organically and look at it as I'm talking to a person and, you know, not make it something that it's not going to be because this is just a connection. It's not making this person a client. It's you meeting a person. So if you're struggling meeting people, that's something you got to work on. You got to work on your personal skills and being able to start a conversation with somebody about just anything, you know? Because usually the organic conversation becomes deeper and you'll learn that you don't have to do all the work for a person that's really interested in you. So if they're interested in you, they'll inter be interested in giving you more information about them. Okay, so you got to kind of like, it's like fishing. You got to fish and you got to throw a reel out, which is like starting a conversation with the person. Okay, you get the conversation going and your goal isn't just to get their info. Your goal is to make a connection with the person. So you have to change your mindset and thinking about um, how you're connecting with this person, okay? So, you know, just talk to them. Notice something about them. Notice something that's going on with that person to strike a conversation. Like, hey, that's a really cool workout outfit you got on. Where'd you get it from? Boom, I got it from such and such. It starts the conversation, gets it open. Your job is to keep that conversation going. And then that conversation going, you got to have like this timer in your head like, okay, what is my objective while I'm talking to this person and how I'm going to end this or how am I going to close this and get their information? You ask like, hey, uh, or you say something like, hey, uh, my name's such and such. Do you mind if I get your social media handle and I do this on social media? You start introducing yourself, talking about yourself, and then you can get their info. So you can get things like their email. You could get their social media handle. You can get their phone number if you're really brave. Um, so yeah, that's how you go about it. You don't go about it with a scarcity mindset and you don't go with it pushing, I need to make the sale on somebody. You go about it as you wanna meet a person and be genuinely interest, interested in meeting that person and let them know who you are because getting the client is a relationship. It's not really a sale, it's a relationship, okay? 
So that's one tip that you can do if you're interested in getting more clients for your business or building your online presence. It's just getting to know people, sharing about yourself and what you're about, and maybe they'll want to pay you for their time. You know, And this, this is not a skill that's learned overnight. It's not learned over a scarcity mindset, okay? So with that being said, I am uh, running a Patreon class on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and they'll be at 6 a.m. So if you're interested in signing up, go ahead and click the link below. Um, it's monthly, so it's a lot cheaper than hiring me in person. And also, yeah, so I'm out of here, and so I got. It.